Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Portrait of Kate Perugini, Daughter of Charles Dickens, by John Everett Millay. Portrait of Kate Perugini, Daughter of Charles Dickens, spotlights a brilliant lady in black. The painting title points to her parentage, but there was much more to Catherine Elizabeth McCready Perugini, née Dickens. She was herself a painter and lived among the artistic elite all her life. In fact, Kate twice married men who both painted and wrote books. Her first husband, author and artist Charles Alston Collins, died before this portrait. Some say that's why she's wearing black for what was essentially a wedding portrait. After all, weddings are joyful and often colorful events. Most brides don't wear black. Many point out that Kate's widowhood was the reason behind this dress. But correlation doesn't always mean causation. Sure, it's a factor. There are also other factors. For instance, this fantastic dress gives her a regal air. Also, we know that Kate loved the color black. She likely chose this look given the fact that the portrait was done by her friend, Malay. He went on record saying that Kate played a powerful role in her portrayal here. A painter herself, Kate knew about composition as well, so her influence wasn't only for personal purposes. This work included her artistic vision as well as malaise. The black dress may not have been a mourning garment, but we catch a whiff of Kate's first husband here regardless. Malay had been close to Collins long before he'd married Kate. In fact, Malay influenced her husband's painting quite a lot. The painter was also close friends with her father. Luckily for Kate, she was a spitfire who knew how to stand up for herself. No matter how many men were around, Kate was not intimidated. She looks over her shoulder toward the artist and or viewer. It's as if someone behind Kate called out her dead husband's name. That would explain this choice of stance for the portrait. Yes, she's getting married, but Kate also has a past, never forgotten. It will always remain a part of her. That's the meaning behind her turned position here. We know from historical records that she selected this particular pose for the painting. When I first saw this painting... I thought about its timing. Her first husband died of cancer in 1873, and Kate married her second, Charles Edward Perugini, in 1874. That's the year that Millay started painting this portrait. In fact, he was one of only five guests at the wedding. Portrait of Kate Perugini, daughter of Charles Dickens, was his marital gift to her. It took him six years to finish. We can't know why it took so long for Malay to complete this painting. All we can know for certain, it was worth the effort. The fact that Kate was an esteemed portrait painter herself must have been a factor. She was also well known for her unrestrained opinions. In fact, as a child, they called Kate Dickens Lucifer Box. She was a tiny but mighty firecracker. There's a glimpse of this in Portrait of Kate Perugini, daughter of Charles Dickens. Namely, she's got luscious red hair. This glorious, swept-up coiffure brings the only color to life in this portrait. It draws attention to her head, 
like smoldering embers atop a coal-colored dress. Kate was a brilliant, quick-witted artist. We may deduce that she was well known for her intellect thanks to this focus on her fiery crown. The black dress exemplifies Kate's sophistication as well as her personal pain. As mentioned before, she lost her husband a year before Malay began this painting, but Kate suffered another trauma in the interim before he finished it. Two years after marrying Perugini in 1876, her baby boy died at seven months old. She never had another child, and when Mr. Perugini died in 1918, they buried him next to the baby. There's no pain that matches a death of one's child. When I learned about this wretched loss, it came as a shock. We know that Malay didn't finish this until 1880, so how could anyone presume that Kate was mourning her first husband here? If this dress signifies mourning, it must be for her baby as well. It's true, Malay had been friends with her first husband, but he was also close to Kate. He said she made many of the choices for a portrait of Kate Perugini, daughter of Charles Dickens, so it's crucial to consider her point of view in this masterpiece. The wonder of this portrait comes from Malay, though. He painted a divine blend of luscious simplicity in this portrayal. That's thanks to the rich detail of Kate's sophisticated dress and beautiful features. The spare use of color emphasizes these delicate elements. It's as if Kate stands in a spotlight, though the background is beige. The glorious light on her face at the painting's top parallels a glossy glow on that bow near its bottom. Her dress would be equally exquisite without a bow. And this woman would be just as worthy of a masterpiece portrait without that beautiful face. Portrait of Kate Perugini, FAQs. Who was Kate Perugini and why is she important? Kate Perugini grew up in the Dickens household. She was the daughter to one of the most noted British authors of all time, Charles Dickens. A spitfire from birth, it was often said that she was his favorite. Catherine Elizabeth McCready Perugini, née Dickens, lived an artist's life. She wrote Edwin Drood and The Last Days of Charles Dickens, as well as The Comedy of Charles Dickens, as co-author with her father. But Kate is most known for her portraits, her paintings of children have delightful charm and show incredible skill. My favorite among them is the charming Dorothy de Michelle. What is John Everett Millay known for? Millay painted extraordinary portraits. His most famous was Shakespeare's Ophelia. It's ironic that Millay is best known for painting a fictional character. That's because he was masterful at portraying the depths and integrity of real people and places. No challenge was too great for Millay. He painted the most extraordinary people of his time, as well as the rockiest terrain. Millay had a special gift for excavating the jewel out of even the crankiest disposition in a portrait. This helped to bring a fanciful charm to his work. Why is Portrait of Kate Perugini, Daughter of Charles Dickens, an important painting? John Everett Millay loved a challenge. He was known for painting landscapes with dangerous terrain and difficult portraits. In fact, Millay was an adamant supporter of the curmudgeon painter Whistler. This compassion for all types shows through in his work. Millay mastered capturing the best character for each of his subjects. Portrait of Kate Perugini, daughter of Charles Dickens, sets primo example for this. Perugini was a complex, vivacious artist who lit up every room she entered. Millet exemplified his fresh, lush, and sketchy technique here. This new take on portraiture propelled Millet past his former enclave among the pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. So, the portrait marks a significant shift in this master's painting career. 
masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady K Flow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks. Visit LadyKFlo.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.